What can you say about a legend? So much has been written. So much has already been said for so many years about Elizabeth Taylor. Is there anything left to say? Well, I think so. But one thing I am not going to talk about is the startling color of her eyes or her amazing beauty. What I am going to talk about is what she brings to the screen, her presence, her volatility, her sense of truth. Cut the truth out of my brain. Is that what you want, Aunt Vi? Well, you can't. Not even God can change the truth that we were nothing but a pair of... Doctor! It's the truth! See how she destroys us with her tongue for a hatchet. You've got to cut this hideous story out of her brain. How much are you willing to pay for that, Aunt Vi? That she was and is an extraordinarily gifted artist is a matter of record. She is a five-time Oscar nominee and twice won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Thank you, Madam On the screen, her very presence seemed to radiate charm. After her performance in National Velvet, it was inevitable that she would become a child star. Everyone riding out there tomorrow will know more than I do. It's no use, mine. Do you think a race like this is won by luck? No. By knowing the pie can win and telling him so. She practically grew up in front of the camera. Her life has not been an easy or a private one, but a series of tribulations, serious illnesses, senseless tragedy, and lost love. In the midst of our filming, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, she became a widow. Her beloved husband, showman Michael Todd, the victim of a plane crash. Yet she persevered, and acting was therapeutic. I was overwhelmed with her professionalism. She later said that playing Maggie the Cat saved her. What is uh, the victory of a cat on a hot tin roof? Just stand on it, I guess. Long as she can. She is a very intuitive actress. She knows her instrument and knows how to make it work. One thing for sure, she is not afraid to take chances in front of people. I find a lot of actors who reach the top, they become very protective of themselves and self-indulgent, but not Elizabeth. I was always staggered by her ferocity and how quickly she could tap into her emotions. It was a privilege to watch her. Lean on me, baby. She has a sense of immediacy that is irresistible on the screen, and she is a functioning voluptuary. Mm, you got a nice smell about you. Her stunning looks often led the critics to overlook her powerful performances and underrate her acting ability. But she has won over her detractors with tenacity and dedication to her craft. She was always striving to push herself to the limit. Revisiting her work is revelatory. Every time you watch her films, you discover something new. Hey, you're with me, kid, remember? By choice. Only. You're all alike, aren't you? Play tough. I'm not like anyone. I'm me. Not only is she a phenomenal actress, but she is also a generous human being and one who cherishes and works at her friendships. She gives her talent and her time unselfishly. In 1992, she received the prestigious Jean Hersholt Humanitarian Award in recognition of her work with AIDS charities, just one of the many public acknowledgments honoring her commitment to those less fortunate. She has risen above her pain and troubles while helping others to overcome theirs. What can you say about a legend? Elizabeth Taylor is a courageous survivor a hell of an actress and someone that I am extremely proud to know. For Turner Classic Movies, I'm Paul Newman.